Now, U.S. President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence have attended an Armed Forces Full Honors Review at the Pentagon. They were accompanied by newly appointed Defense Secretary Mark Esper, the newly sworn in member of Trump's cabinet. Mark Esper was given a welcome ceremony at the Pentagon. The event was attended by Trump as well. Esper is the first permanent defense secretary since Jim Mattis left the post at the turn of the year. While making a speech, Trump once again reiterated his space ambition. Let's listen into what he had to say. And whenever I make a speech, people start going wild. They stand up and they clap and I can't sit them down and I have to wait because I say we're launching the United States Space Force. Wild. They understand that's where it's going to be at. And we're going to be there, and we're going to be there in every way that you can. Now, media reports have suggested that American financier Jeffrey Epstein, who's facing charges of sex trafficking, has been found injured in his jail cell in Manhattan. Now, there's no information about how Epstein sustained these injuries while in his cell. There has been no statement from either the jail authorities or Epstein's lawyers regarding the incident. Reports suggest that guards found the accused sprawled on the floor of his cell and that his face appeared blue. There were also marks on his neck. Epstein was later taken to the hospital where his pre present condition remains under wraps. On the case front, Epstein was denied bail after he pleaded not guilty to the sex trafficking charges against him. His lawyers are expected to challenge the decision. In the second U.S. Court of Appeals, Epstein is demanding that he be placed under house arrest at his residence. And just for the same context, the house in question is Epstein's $77 million mansion in Manhattan. Now, Ukraine has seized a Russian tanker for its alleged involvement in the capture of three Ukrainian Navy vessels, prompting Moscow to warn of consequences if any Russian citizens were taken hostage. The crew members were later freed by Ukraine, but the tanker remained in Ukrainian custody in the Danube River port of Ismail. The seizure threatens to upset delicate negotiations on a possible prisoner swap between the two countries and came weeks after Volodymyr Zelensky, Ukraine's new president, spoke with Russian President Vladimir Putin for the first time. The incident is also certain to further sour relations between Kiev and Moscow, which remain blighted by Russia's 2014 annexation of Crimea from Ukraine and its backing for pro-Russian separatists in eastern Ukraine.